I'm a follower here and today is Pickups and Finds number 32 and I haven't been buying a lot of video games lately because due to the fact that there aren't any good ones out and they're, they're kind of expensive so but <clears throat> after next week my summer break is going to start and I'm going to start looking for more video games so I look forward to that and I guess pretty much it so I guess I'll start off with the stuff I went to Google I found, I might find two good things I found this thing right here if you guys can tell, if you've seen the commercial, Mushigi Ball. It was funny, I found this, found this like, it had no price. I took it up to cash register and said a dollar. I think that's what it was. It's like, oh, it's freaking hard. I didn't hear my little brother ask my father if he could buy him one. It was like 25 bucks. He said, you know what, just wait for it until we see a Google. And that was what happened. A dollar. I can't wait to give it to my little girl. So, yeah, that's pretty much well, I got one more thing. I got this awesome <coughs> Pirates Dice Roll game. All I know is it's complete and it's in perfect shape. Look at that. Almost brand new. Got the dice in here and stuff. I'm just going to pull out one of these cups. See, look at that. It's freaking awesome. It looks like almost like a head if you want to pet it. That was pretty cool. I thought I'd pick it up. I may like a collection. Looking forward to a new Pirates and Trade game here as well. Oh yeah, here's the price, I almost forgot about that. So yeah, I thought it was lower. <clears throat> it's like paying a dollar for each cup. And I guess I'll show some of the stuff I bought at uh, Kmart. I found this awesome Cyber Superman. Oh, uh, I don't know much about this guy except that he has some astral rings. I looked him up, I looked his bio up, and he said that he um, appeared in the Green Lantern Wars and took like five rings, but only four on this figure. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean this, look at all this detail on this guy. It's like he's, looks like he's mashed together with like the Terminator or something. And the cape has like the little sign right there. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I did also buy this black hand. Pretty cool. I really like this figure. I mean, the fact that I'm, I like color blue. He's like a like an evil lantern, the black hand, black lantern. Hey, yeah, I got this guy. I also got one of Superman's arch enemy, Mongo, but with a Sinestro ring. That's pretty cool. I, I like the lanterns, and the one thing that kind of bugs me is that they're giving almost everybody like a, a ring. But it does suit them. I mean, this guy's supposed to bring fear. And I looked up pictures that they're going to uh, recruit uh, a, a toy of. A scarecrow with the Sinestro. And when I bought the black hand, I got two arms. So yeah. One piece away from completing this guy. I'm gonna see if I can try to find the, the last Green Lantern figure. Complete this awesome thing. This thing looks pretty awesome though so far. You see a ring right there. Yeah, I can't wait to complete this guy. <clears throat> so start off with I went to the flea market and I bought like start, like three things for five bucks each, so I'm gonna have to buy this awesome awesome uh, Cobra Commander exclusive. Pretty cool. I mean looks kinda retro but I like the cape. I did also buy this okay, the Scarlet 25th anniversary figure. Needed that one. And it's complete. Well from what I can tell it's got the crossbow on the stand. It's pretty good condition, five bucks each. The best thing I bought for five bucks each was this thing, Colossus. Uh, I know this is not a Marvel Legends, but look, just look at the points. It says 34 points. I will. This is a, a Marvel Legends. It's just repackaged in the X-Men thing. Five bucks. As soon as I heard, I asked that guy, he said five bucks. I was like so happy, just gave him five bucks. And you know, some other figures from the line. I'm actually surprised that's a really good box though, I mean, probably messed up. Might keep in the package, might open it, not sure. I think that's the, uh, keep on guessing on that. But, <clears throat> while, while we were organizing our room, uh, we managed to find this awesome Batman Beyond DC Universe. We found, this in, we found these in the garage when we were organizing, we found this awesome Mike Shadow Batman. <laughs> we thought we sold these a while ago, but... You manage to still have them. I like these two Batman. Pretty cool, man. They're each from different ways. This is DC Superhero, DC Universe. Get back to it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, yeah. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. While I went to that flea market, I found another place and they had this awesome uh, <clears throat> Star Wars Unleashed Darth Vader and it's just 25 bucks. You know how much these things go up? Especially since this thing's freaking massive. It goes up to like 40, maybe 60 bucks. Especially since it's an exclusive. Found it. I mean, this thing's like perfect. Look at that. It's like huge. It's got the back. It's got the bio. It's got the sign up here. I don't know what it has on the bottom yet, but it's just got the copyright and stuff. But look at that. And this is awesome to display. I'm going to keep it in the package. I'm going to find a perfect place for this thing because this thing's just freaking awesome. Massive. And if you ask me, I think it's well worth it. 25 bucks. But yeah, I found, I found that flea market. Uh, I did go to Walmart. I managed to get two things from there. I managed to get this Audrey Prime preview pack for $2. It's funny because I was looking around there. I imagine you see this this repackaged in an eight dollar like packaging. I was like like eh, I'm not gonna pick that up. And I went to the third time. I found this guy. Exact same thing. Set this one from the 3D glasses. So you get one thing extra and they lower the price. So I just thought I'd get this guy. Give it a little back. I'm gonna open this to put my awesome fan collection. Uh, I did I did pick up this awesome TV for twelve dollars. Um, Predators, I wanted to see this for a while, I and mean, here's the receipt boom illusion, it's like 12 bucks. Right there. And two dollars from the Oculus Prime, and I got 14. That's, that was a tool. We yeah, got this back. We got this movie pretty bad now. <clears throat> I did also go to uh Best Buy. Managed to pick up this Merchant Dad Volume 2 and 1. For both volumes for like 25 bucks. I needed these two. I finally found them and cheaper. And I was looking around that, and I was like looking at the American Dad aisle, and they had like like volume two for like 32 bucks and like a thinner thinner box. I was like, whoa, that's kind of expensive. And I saw this thing, and I saw it, it had both of the ones I needed, and it was 25 bucks. Out, that was well worth it. The one downfall about this is that they're both the old pack, and you can see like some of the DVDs right here, some of these ones. I actually kind of prefer this one a little bit more because it looks, it feels like you get more, more of your money. But yeah. I did also go to Target. <clears throat> In the Target, I got this New Lantern move for twenty dollars. Wanted to see it. Uh, I just now started becoming a Green Lantern fan, so I just bought it. Seems pretty cool. It's like twenty bucks. Hey, here's a receipt. And not much. I think I saved seven dollars. Which uh, I thought was all worth it. I did go to FYE and I found one of the best uh, parts of my pickups. Was this Volume 2 Dragon Ball. I finally found it for 25 bucks. That's really cheap. I mean, look look at the price of uh, like I say like ten dollars. No wait. There's fifty, never mind. I say a lot. I say like fifty percent on this thing. Well worth well worth it. Unopened, brand new. Can't wait to watch it. <clears throat> I did also go to uh, Toys R Us and I managed to pick up this awesome two pack of Sinestro and Green Lantern. Like I said, I just now became a Green Lantern fan. It looks pretty awesome. I got Sinestro and I don't know why, I just like the way they package this thing. It's freaking awesome. Pretty epic. Here's like the, I believe what they call them, constructs. Green Lantern. Here's some for Sinestro. Each has their own unique ones. Here's the back and, uh, and here's the cover I guess they uh, based it on. On the old packaging. Which is pretty cool. That was well worth it. Really awesome. Picked it up. 35 bucks. And I also got some of these things for my little brother because I know he's a huge Halo fan. Yeah, Halo fan. Here's Mini Mates. I don't know much about that. I think that's the Arbiter and that's a um, Blue Spartan. And here's a, a Blue um, Elite and, and the Master Chief um, Camo. Here's the uh, Jackal and the Spartan Scout. And here's the last one which is O'Neill. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Emile. Emile. And John. 
If you look at the back, there's actually the whole wave, so I decided to pick him up this, because I know he, he's a huge Halo fan and mini mates. So that's like a double one for him, I guess. I haven't shown him yet, so you'll be surprised. And, well, that's basically all my pickups for today. Uh, not all of it's mine, like half of it's like my brother's, because, you know, we all like to collect, so. Hope you enjoyed this pickups. Find this number 32, and I'm going to signing off.